Hi, Bill from Sparky Channel here as the host of July's Stay Wired to Win Conduit Bending Challenge presented by Duluth Trading Company. I wanted to show you some highlights from my own exciting Sparky versus the Pros EMT Bending competition video at the 2019 Ideal National Championship. It's a great look at how the country's best electricians bend conduit. These measurements and calculations are critical. They must be fairly exact. The bends must be exact and it has to look good once it's up on the wall. I wonder who's going to be competing with Greg. There may be a surprise contest. Oh, there he is! There he is! There's Sparky! Sparky wants in on the contest! He knows he can't win any prizes, but why not? He set up his own board just like theirs. And here he goes. Here's the first bend. And up in the upper right hand corner, that's Michael Fox, another professional electrician. And he's going to be in this competition too. So Greg has made his first bend there and he's making his first, his second bend. He's making his second bend and Sparky is making his second bend. Michael Fox is making his bends up in the air. Okay, so Sparky and Greg are using the same techniques. Michael Fox is using an up in the air technique for the earlier bends and Sparky and Greg are using the floor bending techniques. We'll check in on Michael a little later. We'll keep him on the same exact timeline. Okay, now here is Greg for his second set of bends. He's already taking a lead over Sparky. Now he's aligning his handle with the EMT and giving it another 30 degree bend. So in this way, he can increase his production and speed. So he's putting his bender on the EMT and Sparky's doing the same thing now. Greg's already got three of these double bends made. Those are all 30 degree bends and Sparky's just going as fast as he can there. He's a little behind Greg already, but it's hard for anybody to keep up with Greg, believe me. They are going to make all their bends and have all their calculations done before ever touching the conduit to go up onto the wall. There will be no testing with these two gentlemen here. There's gonna be no testing first. It's, it's your calculations are right. And you gotta have confidence in them. Uh, Greg's going to be uh, putting his EMT in the head of his fender and he has already cut his stuff. Just like that. Okay, so now he's gotta ream the pipe. He's going to take his pliers and ream the pipe and to go around the outside to read the outside and the inside to read the inside. Let's give Sparky center stage here for a moment. He's doing a four point saddle bend and let's see if he got this one straight. Look down, that looks pretty good, that looks pretty good. All right, check it out, right on the money. Okay, so that's three four point saddle bends and now Sparky's gonna go for his fourth four point saddle bend. So uh, Greg is working hard and he's gonna try to put that screw back in. It popped out when he was tugging on the, his conduits. So uh, Sparky, Sparky is getting his third conduit in place. Uh, checking for level and plumb. And Greg's getting very close to being done. He's checking out, making sure he's got everything where he wants it. So it looks good for the judges. He's tugging on one of them. And he's uh, looking it over, he's tightening it back down. And let's see, a few finishing touches. And here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. He hits the timer, he's done. Greg's done. Okay, here's Sparky. Let's check out his work. He's got three conduits up on the board. He's measuring out for a fourth. And he makes a mark. This is where the stub's going to be. And here we have Mike again. Mike is checking out his conduits down on the floor, measuring them, and making sure they all line up with each other. 
Sparky's going to put the star of his bender on his mark on the fourth conduit. And he'll be making his fourth 90 degree stub. It has to be perpendicular. It has to be just right. You have to sight it and make sure it's, it's just right. And here comes a 90 degree stub. Let's see how close to 90 degrees he gets. You actually have to go about two degrees beyond the 90 and then it springs back to the actual 90 degree. Now Mike has his first conduit up and he may be able to pick up some time on Sparky here due to having his conduits all ready to go. If you look down the line, you see everyone's still working very, very hard. And here's Michael already ready to go with his second conduit. Now he's putting it up and he's gonna see where he's going to be cutting the conduit. He's gonna go ahead and mark that. Now that's a difference between uh, Michael's technique and Sparky's and Greg's technique where their calculations were already done and there was no putting the conduit up on the wall to see where to cut it. It's all done by calculations by both Greg and Sparky. It looks like Sparky is putting his straps on his conduits and tightening them down and uh, Mike is cutting his EMT and reaming it out. Okay, Mike's uh, got his fourth conduit going up on the wall. There you go. And Sparky's putting on his third set of straps onto his conduit. And now Michael's going to be getting his straps uh, that go on struts. He has, he has a different kind of straps than Sparky. So uh, Michael's uh, attaching his first set there. And so uh, Sparky's putting on his third set of straps. Trying to get everything look real nice for the judges. And now it's time for the judging by you, the viewers. This is Greg's work, and please subtract three minutes from the time of both Greg and Michael in relation to Sparky, because Sparky didn't have to put the fittings on the boxes. Remember, time accounts for 10% of the total score. So here's uh, Greg's work. You see, we've got some very nice bends, uh, well strapped, and there it goes to the box. And let's take another look at it. We'll come down, got good distance between the pipes. And that looks pretty good there, pretty good. And here's the four point saddle bend, uh, jumping over the obstacles. And there's some more straps. And there it goes back to the box. Here's Michael's work. You see the four EMT conduits coming out of the box. And then it goes to the strut with the four straps on it. And then there's four four-point saddle bands jumping over the obstacle. And here's Michael's right angle bands. And then there's four more straps. And it goes right up to the box. And here's Sparky's work. He hooked into some fittings. And now he's jumping over the obstruction with four four-point saddle bands. And notice he has an extra set of straps. And here he's running the conduit up to fittings. Here's the four point saddle bends. Here's Greg's four point saddle bends. And here are Michael's four point saddle bends. So write in the comments section who you thought won and why. And I'd like to really thank both Greg and Michael for being very great sports and helping us all to learn these great techniques.